Bobby Hughes here with Hollow Point Firearms and uh, today we'll be bringing you a video on finishing the finish. Alright, we've got a, uh, this is going to be our last step in finishing our buttstock and foreign grip. Uh, I've got about uh, six coats of true wool on here that's dried for 24 hours after each coat and uh, now it's time to tone it down a little bit and give us a good satin finish. Alright, bear with me guys, I'm <coughs> battling the crud, <coughs> but uh didn't want to leave you guys hanging, waiting on videos, and plus I wanted to get this thing done too, so. Anyway, basically today what we're going to be using is, uh, <coughs> we're going to be using some 4F, I mean 4F, 4-Ops 4 steel wool, uh, as always. Um, we're going to be using uh, our pumice that I mentioned a couple videos before. 2F and 4F pumice by Miles Gilbert. And then we'll be using some rotten stone. It's the third step of the Miles Gilbert stock finishing kit. Uh, also, we're going to be using some Minwax paste finishing wax. All right, That's what I used to get my last coat on there. Other than that, you'll just need some uh, cotton applicators. I use makeup removal pads. Uh, they're cheap and you can get them at Walmart or whatever. You need a little bowl of water and a, a container to put your pumice in so you don't get the moisture mixed in with the pumice. Other than that, that's about it, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, guys, I've got a little container. First thing we're going to start with. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to take some of our 4F steel wool. I'm sorry, 4 hot steel wool. Alright, now, up to this point, we've actually put a lot of pressure, quite a bit of pressure, <coughs> on the steel wool um, to kind of take that layer of clear off. This time, we're just going to lightly go over the whole thing. Alright, not putting a lot of pressure on it. All we're doing is taking that main sheen off of there, that high gloss finish. Alright, so I'm just going to rub on this stock with this four, uh, steel wool until I get it toned down to the satiny look that I'm kind of looking for. Alright, the pumice is going to help us out with this too, but you want to get the, uh, guess the big chunks off with the, with the steel wool. All right, once you get that gloss cut off there. Be sure to rub all of your get all your steel wool flakes out of there. Like we always do between each clear coat. And this is a good time to check too to make sure you got all that high gloss knocked off of there. Make sure it's all even. And then you can also feel it to make sure that it feels even. Make sure you don't have no high spots in it. Right there we got some gloss left. Clean up my mess here and we'll get started. Alright, so what we'll do is start out with a little container here. I've got my 2F pumice. I'm just going to take a spoon, spoon out a little bit of the 2F here in the in the container. The 2F is going to be 
the coarsest out of the three stages that we're using. All right, so we'll just start with our stock, and got my cotton applicator here. And what we're going to do is wet our cotton applicator. All right, and then dip it right into the pumice, so we get the pumice right on the on the cloth. And then we're just going to start polishing it into the stock. This is a pretty time consuming process. You don't want to stay in one spot for too long, but you also want to be sure and stay there long enough. Alright, so that, but your main goal here is to keep it even. Alright, and once you've finished um, with your first stage of the 2F, take a little bit of water and just splash it on there and then use a paper towel and clean it off. next stage is going to be the 4F pumice, a little bit finer than the 2F. Alright, so I'm going to get some of that out here. And then just repeat the same process with the 4F that we did with the 2F. Alright guys, so uh, once you finish with the 2F and uh, 4F pumice, then you're going to move on to the rotten stone. The rotten stone is even finer than the rest of them, and uh, it's almost just like a talcum powder, like a dust, and it'll be gray in color. Um, it's a volcanic rock, and uh, it makes a really good polishing compound, alright? So, uh, same steps as we used before. I tend to stay with the, with the rotten stone a little bit longer than with the 2F and 4F. Just so I get a really nice satin gloss shine on it, alright? So, just go right into it just the same. All right. Once you uh, once you get finished with all of your three stages of uh, the polishing compound, you want to go ahead and clean up really good before you you put your wax on. All right. If we wax it right now, there's on this nasty surface. There's a chance that we'll get the grit uh, from the pumice and the rotten stone into our wax, 
and that's not what we want. All right. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and clean up real good and uh, get me a new clean piece of cardboard out here. And then once I get that done, then I'll go ahead and wipe the stock down again. All right, with a little bit, of, just a damp rag, just to get what little bit of, if any, um, of the polishing compound off of there. And then that way, I don't end up with grit in my finish coat. All right, so uh, I'll bring you guys back up on that as soon as I get everything cleaned up here. All right, guys, so I've got my surface cleaned up here. I've got my Minwax paste finishing wax. I'm going to use the same cotton applicator. All right, I'm just going to take my cotton applicator and get some of the wax on it. And we're going to apply it directly to the stock, just like if you were waxing your car. All right, so we're just going to apply it right to the stock. Make sure that you get it rubbed in pretty evenly here. Alright, once you think it's glazed over enough, then uh, we're going to use a clean microfiber or cotton towel, whichever one, and buff it out. Alright guys, so that's pretty much how you finish the finish, alright? Um, now, the reason for this is, one, I mean, this thing still looks a little bit glossy in the light. It's really not that glossy. Um, it's not near as glossy as it was with just the truel on it, alright? So, um, the purpose behind this is the truel, if you just if you just coat it with truel and leave it at that, and it's that real high, high gloss, um, look, it'll pick up scratches really easy. Um, you know, if you rubbed your fingernails across or whatever, it would pick up scratches. Um, with this, it, you, it, you'll tell the difference. You just have to do it to know what I'm talking about, but you'll be able to feel the difference in it. This has a really hard, slick finish to it, all right? And we've toned it down a little bit, made it a little more satiny, not as high gloss, all right? So um, for the look of an old rifle, it really looks good. Um, now keep in mind guys, with this stock, I wanted it to look old, okay? So I made the wear marks in it where they are, alright? Now you can achieve this too by sanding the area, especially edges. Edges are the worst, like right here on the tip of the hand here, um, right here on this edge. That's It's easy to do, so if you don't want to do that, be sure and uh, you know, keep it light around the edges when you're wet sanding and stuff like that. Uh, here's a good example of one that's not uh, made to look like it's worn out. All right, I did this one for a uh, 1906, which the videos are going to be up for that here pretty soon too. But notice there's not the wear edges on there like on this one. All right, so I did that on purpose. I wanted this one to look really nice, and this one looks really nice too. I just wanted it to look older. All right. So, like I said, you'll feel the difference in it. Uh, it'll be totally different feeling than it is when it's got, you know, six or eight coats of truel on it. It's a more even finish. There's no uh, finger streaks in it or whatever. And it also, um, it's going to last a lot longer. Right now, this thing's pretty much waterproof, all right? So, you could put water on this and it would just beat up and roll off. So, anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. That's the process for finishing the finish. 
Um, if you wonder how we got to this point, go back and check out the other videos on uh, finishing the stock on the H&R project or stock work videos, um, and it'll tell you all the way up to it. All right. So uh, anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this series and got something out of it. Learned how to do this. Uh, don't forget about our giveaway, the knife giveaway. I haven't forgotten about it. I know it's the 27th or 28th now. Um, I've just been under the weather for the past few days, and I've been really busy at work and just haven't had time to do it. So um, I'll try to get that done this weekend and get that posted for you, get the winners posted. Uh, remember, 24 hours, and uh, I need to hear back from the winners. All right? So anyway, guys, until next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, most importantly, have fun. See you guys.